Today is February 1st, which is also the start of Black History Month. And here at NBC 10, we are celebrating black heritage. In our first of a series of stories highlighting black excellence, the saying, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, is an understatement when it comes to a father and son in New Jersey. Dad is an acclaimed artist specializing in oil paintings. It's a skill set he's passed down to artists coming up behind him, including his own child. NBC 10's Leah Uko takes us to Rutgers University. I was in my first year of grad school. Alonzo Adams has told and painted stories for more than three decades. The last two, his son has been in the pictures. You know, uh, we have a photograph that, that, that was taken of him and he was just staring at one of my paintings. We caught up with Alonzo at his alma mater, Rutgers University. He is the first black artist to have a solo exhibit at the institution's Zimmerly Museum, a major accomplishment, but Alonzo says it's his son's work that's off the wall and on screens that showcases part of the family's legacy as professional artists. There's enough negative uh, narratives of African-Americans out there, um, and I just wanna put out more positive things. Kyle Olani Adams' work crosses into the digital spectrum. The 23-year-old recently earned his degree in media studies from Temple University. He took on projects such as documentaries that feature black men living life blissfully. Once people see our people, you know, shifting their consciousness, um, being more positive, I think other people will follow suit. While this father-son duo has different artistic skills, part of their missions are the same. The guys hanging out with them. To show black lives in ways they've rarely seen depicted. I try to tell the story of a people. You know, our, the joys, the pains, the strength in her, in her face, you know, is like, you know, I, you know I, I'm a woman, I am, I am strong. I, I can do anything. Alonzo's pieces feature dozens of different colors, textures, and emotions, all painting a picture of the black American experience, a life he and Kyle describe as complex. If you look back here, it's almost like you could see like gunshots in the, oh. in, the in the cement, you know, um, but still through all of it, the cracks in the you know, a rose, a rose still came up, and that's that's the way I see our young our brothers and sisters and whatnot. Regardless, we're gonna grow. We're gonna grow. They, they, you you can't hold us back. During the 1980s and early 90s, Alonzo's skills flourished. It was a time he says he saw Black Americans thrive during a volatile time of social reckoning. Kyle, witnessing the creative process, says as he got older. He was inspired to do the same, to document history as it unfolds, especially over these last few years. I feel like we're in another renaissance. Um, coming out of COVID, people's consciousness is shifting. Um, their ideas are shifting towards that higher uh, consciousness, just wanting more for themselves, wanting um, to experience more, learn more, be educated more. For this family, the work continues. I want a young artist to come and see, like, wow, 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 I can do this.